I had what can only be described as a complete mental breakdown. My fall from grace was viewed live by 1,200 people. Hello again, friends. I wanna say congrats to last week's comment winner. Make sure to watch until the very end of the video for a chance to be a comment winner. And when you comment, of course, always, always, you will get a chance to have your comment be shown in next week's video. So stay tuned. What is it like living with bipolar disorder, AKA bipolar depression? My mental health story. What's crack and hope nation? It's your friendly neighborhood, Kevin Hines. Before we get into it, make sure to press that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And if you feel so inclined, share this video with a friend in need of help and hope. Okay, let's get right into it. In May of 1998, I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder type one with psychotic features. I was 17 and a half years of age. Prior to my diagnosis, I had developed paranoid delusions, manic highs, depressive lows, panic attacks, heart palpitations, and anxiety attacks. I also dealt with pretty serious and severe hallucinations, both auditory and visual. Most people don't equate the whole of these symptoms with bipolar type one, but with psychotic features, it's an entirely different ballgame. At 17 and a half, while on stage performing in a sold out high school theater show, as one of the leads, I had what can only be described as a complete mental breakdown. My fall from grace was viewed live by 1,200 people. It was absolutely 100% awful. Prior to my complete, what used to be called nervous breakdown, I had been having bipolar symptoms, but as a young person who did not know what was happening to me, what was ailing me, I really had absolutely no way to articulate what I was going through, what I was truly going through. I didn't know how to express myself, nor did I know what to call it. The voices I was hearing told me I was worthless. The visions I saw were 100% terrifying, and the paranoid delusions made me believe people were out to get me, trying to hurt me, trying to end me. At that show in front of over 1,000 people, I ran off stage mid-play thinking, no, believing, beyond a shadow of a doubt that they were going to simultaneously rise, 1,200 people, rush the stage, and end my life. The symptoms of paranoia never quite leave my side in all these years. It's the one symptom I have yet to conquer. Although I've quelled it to be something I can cope with well today, as opposed to how I reacted to it back then, when I find myself thrown today into a euphoric natural manic high, caused not by recreational drugs, but rather by misaligning chemicals in one's brain. I ride the wave of delusions of grandeur, unrealistic endeavors. I find myself spending money I didn't have back then. In fact, back in college, I spent my entire trust fund in one single day on people at San Jose State University, which I had to leave due to bipolar disorder symptoms. But all, alas, once you go up, you must come, say it with me, down. For almost every manic high I've endured, I've come crashing down into a dark, deep depression. The actor Jim Carrey once said something to the effect of, and I'm paraphrasing here, people who find themselves depressed are in desperate need of deep rest. His message is quite well informed and absolutely astute. Living with BPD type one, I don't ever say that I am bipolar, even though it's something I hear a lot from people. I instead say I have bipolar disorder. I am in fact, Kevin Hines. So to round out the video, I live with this diagnosis Today, I accept that it's real. I treat it by reading everything I can about proven, reputable forms of effective treatment. I get a Google alert on bipolar depression, and I work tirelessly for my better brain health. See my video, The Art of Wellness 2.0, on this very channel for 10 incredible science-backed, evidence-informed, educational, entertaining, and intriguing steps to better your brain, mind, behavioral, spiritual, and physical well-being today. Remember, this channel is here to help you challenge the status quo to take yourself and your wellness journey to task and to better your life and your well-being overall. Next week's video will be all about how transcendental meditation can significantly benefit those with bipolar disorder, PTSD, anxiety, and of course, serious depression, even those with seasonal affective disorder. Make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and once again, if you feel so inclined, share this with a friend in need. As always, thanks to my loyal viewers for choosing this channel we recently hit the 15,000 subscriber mark. And for a guy like me, that's a huge deal. And I can't express how grateful 
and appreciative I truly am. As always, be well and forever. Whatever you do, be here tomorrow and every single day after that. You are worthy, you are loved, you are valued, and you matter, and you matter to me. Take care, friends. I'll see you. Bye.